Hey Connection Kids, my name is Landry. I'm the kids pastor here, and I am so excited you're here today joining us for Connection Kids Online. Today we're gonna play lots of games, sing some songs, and learn from the Word of God. But I wanna take a minute and invite you to come join us right here in person, where we have church together and have lots of fun every Sunday. So for more information on how you can join us, go to the Connection Church Dot org. But for now, I want you to check out this awesome game that we're going to play together. And here's how you play today's game. It's called Stack Attack. You get each player your 15 cups, you stack them as fast as you can, and then you're going to just dismantle that stack as fast as you can as well. And the first person to get all their cups in the stack wins the game! Woo! kids it's been so much fun today but right now we want to get ready to hear God's word so I want you to sit up straight I want you to get rid of anything that will distract you so that way you can hear today's amazing Bible lesson hey guys okay so today we're mixing up a bunch of slime I've got a whole lot of slime samples here what are you watching yeah. sorry sorry it's okay it's Joe Sapiri's new web show, Eat, Pray, Try Harder. I'm starting a new episode if you want to watch it with me. Eat, Pray, Try Harder? That's right. The point of the show is that if we try hard enough, we can stop our bad habits and become better people. He has slime in his hand. Yep, he's going to mix a bunch of slimes together in this episode. And in the last episode, he did a big toy unboxing reveal. It was so exciting. Eat, pray. Try harder. So let's eat some slime. I mean, mix some slime. Now that I think about it, I'm not so sure I understand the whole point of this show. We are Connect HQ. Every day we help the people of the world live God's way. We look for the links, make the connection, and you never know what might happen. Hi, I'm Kat, and this is the time I learned how to stop bad habits. Everything all right, Dot? Hmm? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. I'm just trying to figure something out. Well, if you need someone to bounce ideas off of, I'm always happy to listen. Well, my parents grounded my brother last week, and I'm not sure why. So I really don't know how to handle the whole situation. Interesting. What do you think he did? Maybe he broke a lamp or lied about his grades? I'm not sure. I have a few ideas, but they're just guesses. Well, if you tell me, I can help you narrow them down. Maybe. Hey, a new postcard. Hmm. Dear Connect HQ, my mom said to let the Holy Spirit guide me, but what does that even mean? Could you help me? Signed, Tessa. The Holy Spirit isn't the easiest thing to explain. <laughs> That's for sure. Want to help me look for some links for Tessa? I'd love to, and we can talk more about what's going on with your brother later. Perfect. Both of you? Really? <sighs> and there's no way you think you can perform? Okay, well, I hope you guys feel better, and I'll talk to you soon. Sorry about that, Kat. <laughs> Is everything all right? <sighs> kind of. The Beat Doctors have this new song that they were supposed to play in a video that Rodney and I are going to record. But they both came down with a cold, I guess. Interesting. I heard that they backed out of a performance a few weeks ago, too. Do you think everything's okay? Uh, I don't know. I mean, they had some writer's block last month, but I think that... Actually, I shouldn't say anything else. Why not? 
If something's going on, I think it's best to talk through it. That way we can figure it out. Yeah, but talking behind people's back and starting rumors, I think I'd feel like I was gossiping. Gossiping? Really? I mean, gossiping's a bad habit. One that I'd rather not start. I don't blame you. Was there something you needed, Kat? I think there's something else I need to take care of first. I'll talk to you later. Is there a test I should be studying for? No. We got a postcard asking about the Holy Spirit, which, if I have to be honest, isn't something I know much about. So I decided to do some research. I see. Well, good for you. What do you got so far? Well, I know that God the Father, His Son Jesus, and the Holy Spirit make up the three parts of God. Right. And I know that when someone decides to follow Jesus, God gives them grace by forgiving them and then sends them the Holy Spirit. That means the Holy Spirit always guides them and helps them. Also right. And I'm still figuring out the rest. Well, hey, you got a great start. I mean, you've got the basics down. God's grace sets me free. His Holy Spirit changes me. God's grace sets me free. His Holy Spirit changes me. I think that would make a great point link for Tessa. Thanks, Rodney. Sure thing. Glad I could help. Dot, this book is in Latin. I am very thorough in my research. Hey, welcome to Eat, Pray, Try Harder. Are you struggling with bad habits? Do you spend too much time on your phone? Fight with your brother or sister? Disobey your mom and dad? Gossip? Well, I have good news for you. I can help you kick your bad habits to the curb all by yourself. All you have to do is try harder. So, in virtute, spiritus sancti means... The power of the Holy Spirit. Hey, guys. Vanessa, did you know Dot speaks Latin? What? Rodney, who doesn't speak Latin? Oh, Vanessa, maybe you could help me find another link or two for a postcard question. Do you know anything about how the Holy Spirit guides us? Hmm. Ooh, you know what? I think I saw a video in the archives that might be perfect for this. Can you please hand me that tablet, Rodney? Rodney. Yeah, uh, sorry. Here you go. Let's check it out. This is the story about the God who loves us in the Bible. We find truth and purpose to love God and love others. We're searching God's word for things to discover. This book is alive, full of answers and godly advice. This book is alive. is alive. The time has come. I'm going to leave and go back to my father. I'm going to prepare a place for you. Later I'll come back and get you so you'll always be with me. I'll ask God to send you a comforter, an advisor, a source of power, the very spirit of God to live inside your hearts. Not just God here with you, God in you. Not everyone will have God's Holy Spirit inside them because not everyone will choose to follow me. Only those who show they belong to God by doing what he says. That very night, Jesus was arrested and sent to die on the cross even though he had never done anything wrong. Jesus took the punishment for our sins. He defeated death and came back to life three days later. He appeared to many of his followers. He gave them final instruction to tell the whole world the good news about Jesus. Then he returned to heaven right before their eyes. But that wasn't the end. Just like Jesus promised, God was preparing to send his Holy Spirit. 
Jesus told us not to leave town until the Holy Spirit comes, but it's been 50 days since the cross. I wonder when this Holy Spirit he promised will come. How will we know? Let's pray together until we hear from God. This must be it. I feel God's power inside me. We're all filled with God's Holy Spirit. There's a whole crowd outside. Let's go tell them the good news about Jesus. He's given us power to speak in different languages so everyone in the city can understand. The Holy Spirit is giving us the power to be able to do whatever God asks us to do. I feel so bold and courageous. I'm going to go preach to that whole crowd. And that was just the beginning of the mystery and power of the Holy Spirit living and working in Jesus' followers. His power is still living in you and me, yesterday, today, and forever. The Holy Spirit who came to the disciples on the day of Pentecost is the same Holy Spirit who is given to us when we choose to follow Jesus. The Holy Spirit gives us strength to do what God asks us to do, just like he did with the disciples. Sometimes that means helping us overcome something that's hard to do. Sometimes that means helping us say no to sin. I think that will help Tessa a lot. Thank you both. Of course. Now I just need to figure out some specific ways how the Holy Spirit guides us. Vanessa and I have some free time since we're not making that video for the Beat Doctors. Ooh, we could make a skit vision video about the Holy Spirit. What do you think? That would be a huge help. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Okay, you heard what Joseph here you said. Try hard. I'm going to try hard. I'm not going to let a word of gossip come out of my mouth. I'm not going to listen to other people gossip. I am going to be better. Hey, Kat, have you seen a microphone around here? Mm, I don't think so, sorry. Why, what do you need it for? Oh, Vanessa and I are just gonna use it to make a skip vision video. Did the Beat Doctors have a miraculous recovery? Vanessa told me they had been dealing with some writer's block. Do you think the illness has been a cover up this whole entire time? Do you think they've been lying? Wait, no, 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 I'm not doing this anymore. I'm gonna be better. Stop it, Kat, stop it! Are you okay? I really don't know. What's wrong, Kat? I've never seen you so down in the dumps. I realized today, for the first time, that I like to gossip. I didn't realize I was gossiping. I just thought it was fun to share interesting information about people. But it was gossiping. And it's bad to gossip, so I thought, I'll just stop. How did that work out for you? Not great. I don't know what to do. I've been wandering around Connect HQ trying to sort things out. I don't know how to fix this. Wow, that was quick. I asked Rodney and Vanessa to make a skip vision video for Tessa. Although, now that I think about it, it might help you too. Do you want to watch it? Sure. <laughs> I've analyzed the statistics of the fluid dynamics. It should go down smoothly. There should be no problem drinking it. Whoa, Rodney, what are you doing? This, Vanessa, this is my masterpiece. I call it the Sin Stopper. You call it what now? The Sin Stopper. One sip of this revolutionary creation and you will never have to worry about making bad choices ever again. Okay. No, 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 okay, but, no, no. I am sorry, but I am not going to let you drink that. But Vanessa, sin is a problem that everyone has to deal with, even people who follow Jesus. And sometimes we keep on sinning even though we know we're not supposed to. This is a problem we have to fix. Okay, Rodney, would you say a verse with me? Yes. It's from the book of Galatians, chapter 5, verse 16, like this. Galatians 5, 16. Galatians 5, 16. Let the Holy Spirit guide your lives. Let the Holy Spirit guide your lives. Then you won't be doing what your sinful nature craves. Then you won't be doing what your sinful nature craves. 
Rodney, we don't have to fix this problem because the Holy Spirit has already fixed it for us. When we choose to follow Jesus, something amazing happens. The Holy Spirit comes and lives inside us. He changes us and he gives us the power to say no to sin. But how does he do that? Well, lots of ways. Through our consciences, through our parents, through trusted leaders and friends, through the Bible. All we have to do is ask the Holy Spirit for help and then wait for Him to show us what to do. Wow, that's good to know. It's awesome knowing that God has our backs no matter what we're going through. I completely agree. I guess I won't be needing this anymore. Cat, we can't stop ourselves from sinning on our own. We can't try harder. We need the help of the Holy Spirit to stop our bad habits. You're right. I guess I just like fixing things so much that I forgot there's some things I can't fix. Only God can make those things right. Thank you for helping me see that again. Of course, Kat. And now that the Skip Vision video is finished, we have all of the links we need for Tessa. Do you mind if I make the transmission? It's the least I can do, because I wasn't much help finding the links. Be my guest. Hey, Tessa. I'm Kat with Connect HQ, and we found an answer for you. I learned a great verse today that I'd like to share with you. Say it with me like this. Galatians 5, 16. Let the Holy Spirit guide your lives then you won't be doing what your sinful nature craves. All of us struggle with sin, with doing things we know aren't right, but God knows that we can't fix these problems on our own. After Jesus left the disciples, He sent them the Holy Spirit in His place to guide them and give them courage. When we decide to follow Jesus, the same Holy Spirit comes to live inside us. That means anytime you find yourself stuck doing the same bad habit over and over, you have the Holy Spirit's power to help you. He can guide you in all sorts of ways, like through your conscience, parents and trusted adults, and the Bible. That's what it means to let the Holy Spirit guide you. We can't make ourselves better, but the Holy Spirit can show us how to do what's right. Don't forget, God's grace sets me free. His Holy Spirit changes me. And remember, Connect HQ is here to help you. Whoa, that is a lot of slime. Why do kids like toy unboxing so much? Am I too old to understand? Why did I ever think it was gonna be a good idea to take advice from Joe Superior? When you choose to follow Jesus, the Holy Spirit will always be with you and help you. Would you like to make the choice to follow Jesus today? If so, all you have to remember are the ABCs. A, admit. Admit that you've done wrong and ask God to forgive you for disobeying Him. B, believe. Believe God sent Jesus to take the punishment for your sin. Trust that you're forgiven because Jesus made you right with God. C, choose. Choose to spend your whole life depending on God's power to help you say no to sin. As you live and love like Jesus, tell others God is your leader and number one friend. Did you make that choice today? If so, make sure you talk about it with a parent or a leader you trust. Wow, what an incredible Bible lesson. That was awesome. I wanna thank you guys for joining us in Connection Kids today. But before you go home, I want us to worship and praise God together. So stand up on your feet. I want you to jump as high as you can, try and touch the sky, and we're gonna praise God together.
Yeah.